do you know me? I've raided tons and tons of Krogum installations, and still sometimes they don't even recognize me. And that's why I carry the Omicron Express card. That's right, and now when I go into a POI, I get the response that I really want to see. Don't leave home without it. Howdy folks, welcome to episode 29. Today we're going to do a little bit more work on the base and first I wanted to mention that I did try out various things with this and my conclusion is that it requires 16 railguns to one shot a turret and I actually put them on and tested it and it does work. I just don't like the way the ship looks with all those guns on it. it it looks a little bit, you know, ridiculous, which a lot of my things I enjoy ridiculous, but in this case, I really like this design better. And it still is a really decent ship, and so I'm happy to keep it that way. And you see here, I named it the Tywin because it is a force to be reckoned with. And uh, so those of you... <laughs> Who know what I'm talking about will, will know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, yeah, we're going to do a little work. And I guess I'll get some of my ill-gotten canned vegetables that we stole from aliens that we killed. You know, yum yum. And uh, <laughs> we'll... Well, actually, I can start on the top here. So we'll start on the top. And what I wanted to do was put some thorns or spike type things on here and we'll see what we can come up with and so let's turn on the axis we'll do the the correct axis here and we'll see what kind of thing we can do so i'm thinking like i said spiky type of thing and actually i'm thinking this again this block is going to come into play because i want it to stick out farther and look pointier so i figure this would be the best bet for that so this will give us a longer whoops a longer pointy thingy and here we go like this and then it would come out so these would be here and here and then we're gonna have Let's see, we'll take some ramps here. We're going to do some ramps here, and then ramps there. There we go. Not sure why I'm doing it this way, since uh, I don't seem to be using the mirror aspect. I should probably mirror it across the building. But I want to actually get this figured out before I go nuts and duplicate it, have it duplicating. <laughs> Yeah, because otherwise the uh, <laughs> as I've as I've described the symmetry system before, double your screw ups. And here we go. Let's see that one. Yep, that's the piece. So yeah, we'll do that, and we'll see how that looks. And I'm not sure if that's because I'm not still not sure if that's what I want it to do. And let me see. Let me let me put these pieces here. And we'll turn this one upside down and put the ramps in. Here we go. Okay. And then we'll fill in, might even be able to fill in some of this space. Let's see. We'll do this. And I'm trying to figure out where this next piece is going to come into play. So we'll go like this. This is going to come down this way. Yeah. So this will fill out there and there. And these spikes can go here. Or the sides, I mean. <laughs> the sides of the spikes can go there. And then we can do the same thing again. So we'll take this piece 
and we'll start here we'll go on the bottom since we're already rotated this way and see how this looks now it'll probably not look as cool up close I think because of the contours the way the contours don't exactly smoothly match but we'll see how it looks when we get a little bit away from it and there we go and we can put in these ramps again like this and that on the end should have spun those instead of switching them there we go it's actually it's not too horrible and let me turn off the axis here we go and not sure let me let me uh, let's see whoops wrong key we'll come in here I guess we need to put some blocks on there too but let's do this first before we decide we'll go up here and let's take a look from a distance here does that kind of match Does it kind of blend in with it uh, mostly but it still looks yeah I'm not sure I don't, I don't know how that'll look if I paint it differently too but I think it's actually too tall it's too thick and they look too much like the leaves so why don't I try something on the other side and we'll see what we can get there whoops <laughs> wrong keys okay so that was I believe over on this side we'll go on the west side and we'll try this we'll try this instead and we'll come out let's see and we'll, we'll fill this in and we'll come out the other way and before I lose my place <laughs> let's see I need the axis back there we go and let's see where is our oh that's why because <laughs> we switch sides uh, yeah there we go okay so we're gonna put the spike here and here and here and here and then we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom so we'll come out here with these four pieces it would almost be nice if they could make that into one single block or whatever since I use it so much it would be nice for me anyway and I can turn this off so I can see what I'm doing and we'll go here and we'll take these two there we go okay so we'll put this here and here there we go okay there's a smaller spike and I can even do this not that plane this one we can do something like this and add to it and see how that looks let's get this and I could probably even I could probably even put something on the top as well so we could do this let's get this again wrong one <laughs> get this one do this and put these up here so we'll get that one and that one and let's go up top again and see how that looks let's see we'll go external view and that looks yeah that looks a lot better it's not so chunky it looks like a little thorn a little spike and the fog is in my way <laughs> which is kind of annoying but let's see 
wrong key. There we go. But yeah, I think that looks better. I think that's the look I'm going for. And I can probably put those on all of the holes here on all of the entrances. So why don't I do that? And I will come back in a minute when that's done. Okay guys, we're back and I'm working on finishing up the last one here and I wanted to show you the process because I made a little change here. And so what I've got is each side has these spikes and they're divided instead of, instead of putting the thing in the middle, I'm doing them like this. And so let's see, we'll go back to here. And so we do one of these, one of these and then three of each of these in order to do one of the four sides and so that basically makes our spiky shape and it looks I think it'll look better it seems to anyway we'll have to see when it's finished up but yeah so so yeah you can take the shortcut here and do these three in one shot there we go. And so I'm going to finish this up again. <laughs> Didn't I just say that a minute ago? Yeah, I'm going to finish this up and clean up the top and fix it to make it all match. And I will show you guys, we'll, we'll go take a look in the morning. Okay, guys, here we go. We've got it finished up. And I think it looks good from a distance over here. It looks pretty cool. Yep, I like that. I like that. They match pretty well. They look nice and spiky. Let's see if we have any problems with it. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh let's see here. Let's see if there's any that why does that look broken? Oh, I missed I missed one when I was doing it. Okay. So I've still got <laughs> I still got some more cleanup to do, but uh, yeah, it looks it looks good. And so one of the other things I wanted to do was to get some of the stuff moved from the old, all the downstairs stuff. So I need to get everything put away in the new containers and everything. And so I will get going on that. Here, let's do this. And let's see we will dump all of our stuff into a cargo box here so we can worry about it later and then what we can do is I did rename all the cargo boxes upstairs didn't I yes I did okay and in order to name these cargo boxes you can see up here you can type in the new name but in order to do that you have to have them inside a group so you have to add a group and then add them in and then put them in the group, et cetera, et cetera. As you can see down here, let's see if I have anything like this food processor is not in a group. You can't change the name up here. So that's uh, helpful. It's one of those things that's not really intuitive. And so you're trying to figure out why can't I name this? And yeah, that's why. So anyway, I've got all this stuff and I need to move it to the new food processors upstairs so that I can get rid of this one. And so, let's see, we can go here and this is the food processor upstairs. And now another thing that you'll want to know is that if you want to select this food processor or this constructor in the screen, in the control panel you want to point at it you so you can it's just like the lights where you point at a light and it'll show you the one in the control panel it's the same thing so this is the ground floor constructor and then this food processor if you see here it's this one here so if I point at it and then I hit P it'll select it for me so that's one I can get rid of and I've got all this stuff in the, the 
fridge, which I can also get rid of. So we'll put the, this one has our stuff in it, our food that I made. And so we'll put all this stuff in the other fridge that's next to it for right now because I plan to use that stuff in the food processor. And actually, let me grab the, there we go, the repair tool so I can get rid of these right away before I forget. And I can put all the parts in here and then take them all back out, right? because that's the other thing we're going to move the constructor stuff so we'll take this stuff and is that sappy in there there we go and we can get rid of we can put all of these in another constructor so we'll put them in our main constructor and there it is so we can get this stuff we'll get our ingots and I like to keep the ingots organized so I can actually see what I have so we'll do this and it takes a little bit longer to move them but it's obviously worth it when you can actually see what you have instead of trying to figure out you know do I have the stuff to build and actually I usually like to put them on the bottom too so that you can scroll all the way down to find them because then you can see your parts that you have on the very top but we'll do this and for right now what you can also do is you can do this to fill in the spaces whoops you can do this to fill in the spaces so that your um, so that your new stuff doesn't end up hiding in these little gaps so there we go with that and so I can go back to this constructor and move all this stuff so I'm going to get all of this stuff moved over to the new boxes and I will meet you guys back here in just a minute. Okay guys, we are back and as you can see here, I got another round of the plants picked. And so I got everything organized here. The food processor is making me some more food because I used up the canned vegetables already. And I'm making some sprouts here. Good, those are done. And so I've also got the all of the stuff organized up here so if you can see if you look in the list here we have all of the ship parts and we have my adventure equipment guns and tools and all that stuff and Hurley's all of Hurley's stuff for when she joins us and then I've got some empties and then I have base construction stuff so all the tools and the blocks that I need and I still need to put on these decos and stuff and I've got miscellaneous, all the stuff that I probably won't ever use, but just in case, you know, I can hoard it and stuff. And the lifetime supply of oxygen and some fuel left over. I didn't fill up all of the fuel tanks, so I might actually just out of completionist, uh, <laughs> a completionistness. That's that's a word, isn't it? But yeah, you know, I might go take out that that Prometheum. Where is it? there's a Prometheum deposit over here, over there, that I might end up having to go <laughs> deal with just for that reason. And then we've got all the ammo that we picked up and made and stuff for extras. So yeah, the main constructor's over here, and then I've got one, I tend to use one just for smelting and doing those kind of things and making like the pellets and breaking down those. And the other ones are the advanced constructors that we've got and just in case we need to do like a big operation it's nice to split up things and throw them in the extra ones so I usually do that to make like when I need a ton of metal components or a bunch of whatever power coils or something like that I'll do that and then I can split up a job easier it would be nice if they would automate that but that hasn't been done yet so it's <laughs> You still have to do it manually. And I also removed all the stuff from the first floor. So if we run down there real quickly, we can see. And over here, I added the core that you can see there. So I moved that. And this floor is fairly empty too. But yeah, as you can see here, the first floor is pretty much abandoned. I need to make it into like a lobby type of thing or something instead of 
just this so I'll have to figure out some things I can do on these various floors to make them look cooler but that's gonna be for future episodes because we're out of time today so join me in episode 30 and I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do in episode 30 but join me anyway because I'm sure it will be lots of fun and we will see you then in episode 30 later